Yeah, <laughs> screwed up my first attempt at this video. Mm. So, it's a uh, California Merlot for me tonight. Ah, it's what's left from dinner. <laughs> I asked my mom if she minded if I killed it off, and she goes, oh, well, sure, <laughs> you're on vacation. I said, yeah, I want to use it in a video. <laughs> She's like, okay. She hasn't watched any of my videos. She doesn't want to. <laughs> I mean, she's Christian, but not a Mormon and not overly sympathetic to Mormons, so I don't think she's going to tell me to stop. <laughs> she gave me the bottle of wine. <laughs> We're in the book of Enos, and it's one chapter long. But it's festive, so let's uh, let's do it. Behold, it came to pass. That I, Enos, knowing my father that he was a just man, for he taught me in his language and also in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, and blessed be the name of my God for it. <sighs> Redolent of the opening sentence of this, of First Nephi. And I will tell you of the wrestle which I had before God. Shades of uh, the other Jacob <laughs> wrestling with angels. Before I received a remission of my sins, behold, I went to hunt beasts of the forest. He didn't care what he got. <laughs> and the words which I had often heard my father speak concerning eternal life, <laughs> the joy of the saints sunk deep into my heart and my soul hungered and I kneeled down before my maker and I cried unto him in mighty prayer and supplication for mine own soul. <laughs> Shades of J.S. and Muhammad. <laughs> and all the day long did I cry unto him, Yea, and when the night came, I did still raise my voice high that it reached the heavens. And there came a voice unto me, saying, Enos, thy sins are forgiven thee, and thou shalt be blessed. And I, Enos, knew that God could not lie, but he could send lying spirits. <laughs> Wherefore, my guilt was swept away. He's like guilty of anything he did. <laughs> and, it's like you know, a bunch of crimeless victims out there, I guess. <laughs> and, I said, Lord, how is it done? And he said unto me, Because of thy faith in Christ, whom thou hast never before heard nor seen, because he has been born yet, nor have his grandparents, and so on. And many years passed away before he shall manifest himself in the flesh. Wherefore, Go to, thy faith hath made thee whole. Now, it came to pass, <sighs> mighty fine, that when I had heard these words, I began to feel a desire for the welfare of my brethren, the Nephites, Wherefore, 
I did pour out my own whole soul unto the Lord for them. And while I was thus struggling in the spirit, behold, the voice of the Lord came unto my mind again, saying, so it's a voice in his head, <laughs> I will visit thy brethren according to their diligence in keeping my commandments. I have given unto them this land, and it is a holy land, <laughs> and I curse it not, save it be for the cause of iniquity. That really bugs him. Wherefore I will visit thy brethren according as I have said, and their transgressions I will bring down with sorrow upon their heads. And after I, Enos, had heard these words, my faith began to be unshaken in the Lord. And I prayed unto him with many long strugglings of, for my brethren, the Lamanites. And uh, it came to pass that after I had prayed and labored with all diligence, the Lord said unto me, I will grant unto thee according to thy desires because of thy faith. Gotta have faith. Too bad. And now, behold, this was the desire which I desired of him. That <laughs> if it should be so that my people, the Nephites, should fall should that if it should be so that my people, the Nephites, should fall into transgression and by any means be destroyed, and the Lamanites should not be destroyed, that the Lord God would preserve a record of my people, the Nephites, <laughs> even if it be so, uh, even if it so be, by the power of his holy arm, that I might be brought forth at some future day unto the Lamanites, that it may be brought forth some day unto the Lamanites, that perhaps they might be brought unto salvation. For at the present our strugglings were in vain in restoring them to the true faith. And they swore in their wrath that if it were possible, they would destroy our records in us, and also all the traditions of our fathers. Wherefore, I, knowing that the Lord God was able to preserve our records, I cried unto him continually, for he had said unto me, Whatsoever thing ye shall ask in faith, believing that ye shall receive in the name of Christ, ye shall receive it. <laughs> and I had faith, and I did cry unto God that he would preserve the records, and he covenanted with me that he would bring them forth unto the Lamanites in his own due time. And I, Enos, knew it would be according to the covenant which he had made, wherefore my soul did rest. <laughs> and the Lord said unto me, Thy fathers have also required of me this thing, and it shall be done. Unto thee, you should have asked for something else. You already had this, dickhead. <laughs> you could have asked for some ruby slippers. You could have clicked them together. Or silver slippers, like the book. And magic powers.
I could see Joseph Smith with ruby slippers. I mean, go with his seer stone and his specs, and his, I don't know what else. <laughs> Should have asked for something else. Uh, according to their faith. Yeah, he gave. He already gave it to them according to their faith. For their faith was like a divine, but they were smart and they they asked for something and then you turn around and go, hey, can I have what, can what happen, they, what's going to already happen, happen? Thanks. Stupid dickhead. Should have asked for something else. And now it came to pass. That I, Enos, went about among the people of Nephi, prophesying of the things to come, and testifying of the things which I had heard and seen. And I bear record that the people of Nephi did seek diligently to restore the Lamanites unto the true faith in God. Pretty re repetitious here, don't, don't you think? Then again, this would have been a paragraph, the book of Enos. But our labors were in vain. Their hatred was fixed, and they were led by their evil nature that had become wild and ferocious and a bloodthirsty people, full of idolatry and filthiness. I'll drink the filthiness. Feeding upon beasts of prey, dwelling in tents, and wandering about in the wilderness with a short skin girdle about their loins, and their heads shaven, and their skill with the bow, and the scimitar, and the axe, and many of them did eat nothing save it was raw meat. And they were continually seeking to destroy us. And it came to pass. That the people of Nephi did till the land. And raise all manner of grain. And a fruit. And, and a fruit. And. Damn computer. Cut out on me. Right in the middle when I was. Right in the middle of it, it came to pass. Just for that, I got to do the whole verse again. Besides, <coughs> it's nice to finish a book in one night. <laughs> Enos, bye. Nice knowing you. <laughs> uh, where was I? Ah. Verse 21 of Enos. Very interesting verse. And it came to pass. Oh. That the people of Nephi did till the land and raise all manner of grain and the fruit and flocks and herds and flocks of all matter, manner of cattle of every kind and goats, and wild goats, and also many horses. That's right. Once again, we're hearing about horses in North America before the Spaniards brought them over. And there were exceeding many prophets among us, and the people were a stiff-necked people, hard to understand. And there was nothing, save it was exceeding harshness, preaching and prophesying of wars and contentions and destructions, and continually reminding them of death. <laughs> you guys are buzz killers. You fucking assholes. <laughs> and the duration of eternity. Well, unfortunately, if you didn't exist forever, then eternity, you, <laughs> yeah, hop on, 
hop on the soul train to eternity. Yeah. And the judgments and the power of God and all these things, steering them up continually to keep them in the fear of the Lord. I say there was nothing short of these things and exceeding great plainness of speech would keep them going down speedily, keep them from going down speedily to destruction. And after this manner I did write concerning them, and I saw wars between the Nephites and the Lamanites in the course of my days, and it came to pass. Ah, uh, that I began to be old. Oh, yeah, I think you were old from the start. You were getting very old, uh, Enos. <laughs> Didn't take long. And a hundred and seventy and nine years had passed away from the time that our father Lehi left Jerusalem. And a footnote down here says B.C., 420. So that's what they think uh, uh, the uh, date is. Uh, and I saw that I must soon go down to my grave, having been wrought upon by the power of God that I must preach and prophecy unto his people, and declare the word according to the truth which is in Christ, and I have declared in all my days, and have rejoiced in it above that of the world. And I soon go to peace, no, go to the place of my rest, which is with my Redeemer. For I know that in him, uncapitalized, by the way, I shall rest, <laughs> and I rejoice in the day when my mortal sh sh when my mortal shall put on immortality, and shall stand before him, then shall I see his face with pleasure. And he will say unto me, Come unto me, ye blessed. There is a place prepared for you in the mansions of my Father. Amen. So much Renos. What can I say? <laughs> Did that need to really be there? They just needed to show that it's the same equivalent. It's the equivalent of, you know, in a movie where they're doing a time lapse of uh, ages and they show pages flying off the calendar. That's what they're doing now. Uh, yeah, we go on to. Uh, uh, oh, hang on. I got this. Yeah, we go from Enos to uh, Jerome, one chapter, and then into Omni, which is uh, the book of nothing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, one chapter. So fun times. If my computer wasn't fucking up. <laughs> I'd probably blast through all of them, but I did kill the bottle. So, and I'm out of scotch. And I got nothing more to say about this. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is.